Hey y'all, I'm Dee, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. And if you're one of my A1s since day ones, welcome back. No, I'll be missing y'all. No, I'll be missing y'all. All right, y'all, so today I have something I haven't had in a very long time, and I am so hungry, I cannot wait. Okay. Broccoli. So I have a salmon pinwheel that is stuffed with spinach and crab florentine i got some basmati rice and i got some beef pot stickers i don't know for some reason i was craving pot stickers like really craving pot stickers and of course i got my butter sauce back here and i added something different um i just wanted well i just thickened it up really that's what i did so it's not so buttery and i'm going to put that uh, my butter sauce actually i'm going to put it I just have it for my rice, really. I'm going to put it over my rice. And I am drinking Seagram's Peach Bellini. Y'all know, that's my favorite Seagram's. I mean, it's just so good. And if, I just put a couple orange slices in them. I don't know if y'all can see the orange slices. And my ice cubes. So I'm going to take a sip of this. It's like a starburst and we're gonna bless this food y'all let's get into it Dear heavenly father thank you for this wonderful meal i'm about to devour good food good meat good god let's eat i'm so ready i'm gonna go ahead and put me some butter over top of this rice real quick oh yeah All that onion goodness on there. Mm. Better right there. I'm gonna move this down because I want to get to my salmon pinwheel here. Oh, uh, I don't even know. Uh, let me get the rice first. Rice first. I'm gonna put some onion on there. It's hot too. I learned that, y'all. So beautiful. All that butter sauce on there. Now, I don't like rice. I'm not a rice eater. But I say with my butter sauce, I really think I can do it. I can. It's good, y'all. Let's try this pinwheel. Oh, wow. Look at that. Should have got me some lemon to put on there. Let me go get some rice with the pinwheel. I actually should have got two. I know they look small, but they're really filling, guys. They're really filling. So, the talk of the TV now is this Netflix. Joe Exotic. I'm going to chew a little bit more. We gonna get, we, we got to talk about this, y'all. We, really we really have to talk about this. Really? What is that? We really have to talk about this. Mm, mm, mm. I have to figure out a way for me to eat rice. Mm. My broccoli, I just steamed it um, with a little butter, Himalaya pink salt, garlic salt, and that was it. Mmm. Mmm. I don't steam my broccoli too long, no more. I like the crunch. Mm. I watch all episodes of that documentary, docu-series thing.
Mm. And I did bring me some. Mike's hot. Honey. You're with me. For these popsicles. I don't know why I got no chopsticks for my popsicles. I guess I feel like it might be too much. But. Got them. Just gonna put a little hot honey on the side here. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have. Mm. I feel not bad with the hot honey. I never get beef. I always get. Oh. Any other kind they have besides beef. But yeah, y'all. Did you see the... I hope y'all saw it because it was literally the top talk of the TV town this whole week. All week and last week. I'm not sure when it premiered. So much going on, y'all. So much going on. But I did find that it was kind of sad or whatever that he was shooting them. You know. I'm still trying to find the monster that everyone said he was because well I guess killing the tigers and trying to kill the lady but I do believe he was set up I don't know I'm back and forth Mm, nice and crunchy. Yeah, I ain't got time for them. What's the names right now? Mm, look at that, y'all. Nice and crunchy. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. See how it tastes for my... Go with my butter sauce too. But his hate for that lady was just out of this world. I think that lady's your husband. Pause. No. <clears throat> she actually came forward and said she did not like how they portrayed her and how they brought up the killing of her husband. And I don't know if I dozed off or anything, but I don't think they ever said that she was married to the guy, Thomas, or something. Because this whole time I thought he was a, the, just somebody that worked at the park with her. Until I saw them holding hands. I'm like, why the hell are you holding your hands like that? I said, um... But I believe she has something to do with her husband disappearing. She knew that he was going to divorce her. Baby, she knew. <clears throat> She knew she would end up with nothing. I think she knew somebody. But it's like her brother worked at the office. I mean, at the um, sheriff's department. Brother, not going to help you out. Break him off a little something, too. 
Okay. That's what I think. Even if he did or didn't, even if he wasn't the one, I believe she put that money talks, y'all. Get somebody creditable to help you out. And of course, they're going to help you out. I mean, of course, you're going to make sure they get their money. And they know that because you can be down going down. You're probably going to be seeing another documentary on the Jeff Lowe guy. Uh, the James guy is pissed. Mm -hmm. I think that the reason why Jeff Lowe doesn't even want to work with him because he doesn't trust him. He's like, you're a snitch. I mean, I'm a criminal. He's probably like that right there. We can work together on versus this. I gotta put you in here. I ain't nothing over my head now. Like, no. But it's something going on. He don't trust him because he said he's coming for him. He said he is not done with this. And Joe Exotic is not done either. He's suing. Excuse me. I guess they. I'm gonna get it wrong, y'all. U.S. Department of Justice and the courts or whoever else sued him and then put him in jail for like I don't know some odd like 80 million, 90 something million or something. I feel like it's 94 million, but I'm not sure. I don't know 94 numbers ringing in my head right now, but yeah. He's suing them from in jail. He got 22 years in jail. The thing that floored me is the... I mean, the boyfriend shot himself. I wonder if it wasn't on purpose or what, did he really feel like it wasn't loaded? He was young, y'all. And lost his life. He was young. He was young, y'all. Mm. People sleep on that pink Himalaya salt, but it's really good. I'm full, y'all. I forgot these pinwheels. Because the pinwheels are stuffed for real, y'all. They're really good. Mm. And the butter with the rice. Y'all. It's so good. It's crazy, y'all. It's crazy. But it does show you a big lesson when he was antagonizing that woman or, you know, doing all that stuff. And I always used to say, you hit them where it hurts and that's their pockets. And see what it went back and forth? And social media, going to his place and doing this and doing that. It would just kept going on and on and on and on. But... No, she said, I'm going to hit that money, hit that bank. I'm going to sue your ass. And that's what she did. She sued that ass. But 
But it's very sad. The husband part really got me. I almost felt like, did we really need this episode? But then again, this is like... I don't think we need it. I think we needed every part that we got. I just cannot believe... think he would have went through with the um killing that lady I don't think so because everyone would have thought it was him anyway he would have gone there and be like yes that bitch is dead and everybody would have came for him so Mm -hmm. yeah. I definitely think this is this is not going on in the whole thing, y'all. You got I don't understand the husband thing, but the crazy part about it when I first saw the first guy, I said I was saying he looks so drunk. I mean the second guy, I said he looks so high and every little picture they keep on bringing up. The first husband, he came back after he saw a documentary said that he didn't like, one of the biggest things he didn't like is that they didn't show him with his new teeth. They showed him with his missing teeth. And he got new teeth. But you got to be worth so much more that you're going to stick around here. I mean, how are you just going to say, not gay, I never loved them, I never, I just did this so he can take care of me. That's just, I mean, that's some, that's some measures to go through. Um, I mean, the other, the, the, um, I think it's Travis, they say he was a meth head. So he was addicted, so they kept feeding him that. Man, but these men had a whole three way wedding. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That was a lot. There was a lot going on, y'all. Doc Ant said he didn't like the way he was portrayed. He felt like um, employees or ex-employees were paid. He's clearly talking about that one girl. But it's so evident and apparent, and apparent in the whole documentary when they were filming about him that what she was saying was true. It's absolutely true. So, I don't know. But it was definitely interesting to see because I bet you no one was thinking about the zoo world like that. Like all this drama they got going on and all this stuff. I know I didn't. Right back up on saying, I keep seeing it on social media. I'm like, what is this? Bam. I turn it on, I'm hooked. Look at that pinwheel, y'all. That's a salmon on it, if you can see it. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the, that's the salmon right there. I don't think so, but... Hmm. I'm getting full, y'all. But... It was definitely something to watch. It was definitely interesting, entertaining. I'm definitely gonna try to follow it and see, you know, like where this goes. So, you know, especially with his new lawsuit that he's doing for them. So, I definitely want to see that. Like, what's what's gonna happen? Like, what's 
Mm -hmm. Same thing with um, Jeff Lowe. Him and um, his new business partner are not getting along. He said, seems like everybody working with me and just doesn't work out. Well, I don't know, Mr. Lowe. Might be something about you. <laughs> Y'all know that pet. If you haven't seen it, please go see it because it's definitely a must see. Pretty sure you did though. It's definitely a must see. I mean, everything was crazy. Everything was crazy from start to begin. Things I just couldn't believe. See how the country get down? I wonder, did he, did he, um, and the fact that that boy is just now getting the tattoo removed, like, you were married, I mean, covered up, you were married to a woman. No, actually, I think they're still married legally today. When I was looking something up, it looked like they were still married. I wonder, I don't know, I gotta look at that, because, what's the laws on that? Because he, that means he still has... With the exception of the one that passed away. But it looked like he has two husbands again. Or three. Including the one that passed away. And they said that's his fourth marriage with Dylan. And Dylan is like, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. So when he moved on so quick. I'm not going to lie. Towards the end. I mean, it was weird. He moved on very quick after the death. And... He got married. I honestly think he gets married to keep them here. It's like a way of saying we're together now. That's us being official. I don't know. It's crazy because I've actually heard of him before. I've heard him selling um, the exotic animals to like celebrities and stuff. I wanna say he was working with Molly Mall or something. I gotta do some research on that, but Molly Molly Mall, DJ Molly Mall, producer, whatever. He was in a big mess with the animals and stuff like that. And he had like a shitload in his house. I ain't gonna say a shitload because I'm not really sure, but he had Quite a few like baby tigers in his house and monkeys and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so I think the lady killed her husband. Now she got her new little man. And his ex wife. Oh Lord, baby. She been holding on to that hurt for a long time. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that movie was definitely something else. I'm glad I saw it. I hope you guys see it if you didn't see it. If you did see it, please tell me what you think in the comments. Let me know down below what you think. And if you, I don't know, I'm kind of waiting for more. I feel like it really shouldn't have ended. I feel like they could have gave us a couple more episodes or something. You know, I really feel like it shouldn't have ended. No, I really feel like it shouldn't have ended. They could have gave us just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Mm, excuse me. Mm. Ooh. This was good. Alright, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Till next time. I'm out. Peace.